Hi guys, James from DBG here, and welcome to some more Warhammer 30,000 goodness. Um, and as you can see in front of you, there's a rather large piece of light resin. Um, just for scale, this is my hand. And yes, it's a rather large lump of resin. Um, for those of you who do not know what this is, this is a Legion Spartan assault tank. Um, pretty much every single 30k army in the world has a Spartan assault tank. They're very good. They're points hungry. They're just under 400 points. Before you start adding extra pinto mounted stuff on them or what have you, um, it's 305 points base. You put armoured ceramite on it, which means um, the melter effect doesn't happen. And uh, then uh, you give it what is called a flare shield, which on the front arc basically makes it armor 15 um, and reduces the strength of blast weapons by two. Um, again, this is 7th edition. Now, I picked this um, bad boy up on the Heritage Trading site on Facebook. Um, it's actually very good, and um, I do recommend it if you are looking for some 30k stuff. Um, the admin is very good, and uh, yeah. And if you use PayPal, then you're covered um, 100%. But um, it was listed as damaged. And as you can see, there's a few broken bits. These are not a problem. These, you can just go in there and I will be gluing them in there. Not a problem. Um, this is that. So obviously it's snapped into in, um, the person did actually say that this broke before um, it was posted um, and the pictures on the post do corroborate that so yeah it's very cool so that's not a problem that will just stick together very easily um, the super glue and that'll be fine and then when it's, I stick it back there and the quad las cannon goes on it will all be supporting itself with itself. So I don't need to worry about it breaking again. Um, if it breaks, the whole thing will have to come off. So that's not a problem. Um, I think the heavy bolters may have been putting upside down, but not a lot I can do about that, considering the price I paid for this. And if we look at the back, you can see that the person who built it, sorry, let's get the lights around here. The person who built it clearly hasn't worked with resin very much because that is where the gate for the resin injection would have been. And there's a little boy, another one over there. Um, it hasn't been cleaned off um, at all very well. So I've got to um, go at that with a file. Um, when you're sanding resin, you need to wear a mask because you will die. There's no two ways. If you breathe in resin dust, you'll die. So always wear a mask. Um, you can see that some of the tracks and stuff are a bit bowed, um, but I've noticed that a lot with my friend Spartans. There's a massive mould slip there, which needs to be filled. Um, and then what I need to do, see there's another bit there that needs to be filed off. And what I need to do is get out the uh, green stuff and make some tracks. You just, I'll just make the ends of the tracks there, and then you blend it in. Sorry, can't even I'll look at the model. Look. Yeah, you just blend it in there. Now, I didn't know if this was going to go in my second legion or the Empress Children. Um, I've had a lot of, um, a lot, many, many, many sheets of paper. We're going through working out. Um, armies and stuff to get my uh, Empress Jordan to that magic 3,000 points and then I'll stop. Um, I don't have the space to go any higher than 3,000 points. <coughs> and because I have a unit of Terminators that's quite large and these have a transport capacity of 25, I thought, yes, this is going to go in my Empress Jordan. So it means that all the stuff that's painted grey will be painted purple. All the stuff that is painted blue will be painted white, or my version of white. Um, so yeah, 
and it's going to be the dedicated transport to the Terminator squad so it's going to um, well if I put this the, the Terminator squad and the Praetor in that's a thousand points just sitting in one place so yeah it's very points heavy um, it's called a Death Star um, well it's more of a Death Star if you have a, um, a Primark in there since mine are loyalists they will not be having their Primark and if they do, that's another five hundred, another four hundred, almost five hundred points for Fulgrim. So yeah, um, and all I need is to get this, and then I've got the missile launcher dudes and the extra five guys for the for a tactical squad to make it a squad of fifteen, and that's it. I am sitting at, I believe, if my mathematics is correct, two thousand nine hundred ninety-seven points. And there's not anything that's three points to get to the Magic 3000, so yeah. So, um, as you know, I've just finished commission. Um, the next one uh, will be coming quite soon. So I have a few days just to get this done. I'm going to get this done in its entirety. Oh, and while I remember, I have a package. I have a package. Um... Got to make sure I get you the right one because it depends if the reveal video has come out. Um, from Shapeways, yes, I bit the bullet and I and I went to Shapeways. So the first thing I got was these. As you can see, these are Legion icons because Empress Children are the third Legion, and then I got. One second. Not those. Not those. I got these. Sorry, they're very well wrapped. I got these. And there's enough there for everything. There's 60 there. I've got about 50, 53 Marines. So yeah, they will be going on at the same time. Um, they had, it's 3D plastic, so um, the way to stick them on the shoulder, shoulder pads will be um, because of uh, the guys already painted. I'm gonna be using PVA glue. Uh, means that it will take a little bit longer to dry, but it also means that the paint job won't get damaged um, by super glue because sometimes super glue can leave that horrible white residue and that would mean I have to try and paint round the icon and then paint the icon itself so yes so that is what I'm going to be doing over the next few days um, obviously I uh, it's bank holiday weekend but I work retail so I'm working bank holiday weekend well working bank holiday not the weekend so these will be um, being done over the next week and expect another video with everything as finished as it's going to be um, very soon so as usual guys look at the links in the description um, for white shark gaming and goblin gaming uh, don't forget to if you use the link for goblin gaming you'll be helping us out as well as getting awesome um, reductions on your uh, wargaming goodness um check out our facebook and instagram uh chris is always posting stuff on there and you'll find pictures of what i've been working on as well and as usual thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you next time